Larger than a bomber, but smaller than a ship of the line, the Idris occupies an interesting space in the pantheon of warships. While they lack the heavy armor and capital weaponry of a cruiser, they are more maneuverable, highly configurable, and downright formidable. Welcome immortals, I'm Vici Deum, here to go over the top 5 best uses for the Idris. But don't forget to sub up to keep up, since we're starting right now. Number 5. Exploration the Aegis Idris stands at the forefront of the frontier, a vanguard and bastion against whatever the unknown has to offer. Equipped with capital-class jump and quantum drives, with complementary fuel takes and intakes to match, means that no matter where or whenever the call to adventure strikes, the Idris will have the range to get you to your destination. But the Idris goes above and beyond merely having the ability to tackle this role. It's equipped to excel with a med bay, extensive onboard living facilities, a fantastic weapons complement, and a large hangar, capable of carrying several ships in internally, apt for atmospheric flight, and paired with two capital shields with over 800 SCU means that no matter what you find, you'll have both the defenses and capacity to stow and secure those valuable finds. For these reasons, using the Aegis Idris for exploration is number 5. Number 4. Piracy. The Idris provides a unique, formidable platform to rule any pirate outfit. From its impressive military backbone to its unique amenities, there are few encounters the crew of an Idris wouldn't be able to profiteer from. We've already seen outlaws in Star Citizen reappropriate this ship towards nefarious purposes during the Xenothreat and Ninetales dynamic events, but I believe the Idris platform proposes more unique opportunities for pirate players. To start, the 800 plus SCU cargo hold, onboard brig, and holding cells are considered considerable assets for any pirate group, especially when matched with its impressive defenses and strong weapons complement means few opponents will be able to contest its presence. But I believe it excels with regard to its internal hangar, capable of carrying a variety of craft to tailor suit the pirate org's needs, whether that's several cutters and 315P, or an onboard escort to extend the defenses and perseverance of this ship. It will ultimately depend on whatever particular situation or anticipated encounter the pirates expect, but with a robust, dynamic setup, the Idris will be more than capable of rising to the challenge. For these reasons and more, using the Idris for piracy is number four. Number 3. Rescue and Relief The Idris has already proven itself a capable and ideal choice for search and rescue missions. Having established itself with the UEES Stanton in the disaster and rescue relief at Farron, as well as during several other points in its storied past. And when viewing the ships' amenities and capabilities, it's easy to see why. With a massive cargo hold and hangar capable of transporting large, varied amounts of disaster relief goods, and an onboard, well-equipped ICU for any injured parties means critical care and emergency relief is never that far away. And complemented with a convenient rear ramp means loading goods and personnel is a simple task. And with its extended range and armaments and amenities ensures that it can punch its way through any conflict in order to provide those protections. For these reasons, using the Idris for rescue and relief is number three. Number two, Org Base. The Idris makes an ideal mobile base for any organization due to its range and robust onboard features, along with extensive facilities for both players and non-player crew. When operating without an assisted fleet as a standalone detachment, the Idris offers a strong multi-use platform for everything from bounty hunting to cargo and so much more, and provides an excellent complement when operating as part of a larger fleet, providing escort protection, especially when paired with combat fighters on board its hangar. Alongside those features, the Idris would be an excellent guild hold for weapons, armor, and the rarest loot, while simultaneously offering a shooting range, training simulations, an armory, and so much more, guaranteeing any players and NPC crew will be well prepared for their encounters. And with its long range, provides responsive interdiction and participation in any event. For these reasons, using the Idris as an org base is number two. Number one, 
patrol ship. The Aegis Idris ensures the protection and security of any sector, especially when outfitted as the Idris M variant, with its increased armor and military components, including a size 10 nose-mounted destroyer mass driver cannon with well over a dozen manned turrets and remote turrets. It also includes automated point defense systems and robust anti-ship missiles with their own dedicated restocking room. But what makes this ship beyond just an excellent weapons platform with capital components is that large internal hangar, which can be outfitted with a variety of ships to suit the encounter. These can be customized to fit everything from over two dozen arrows to even more snubcraft, or larger dedicated fighters like Hurricanes, Gladiuses, and likely the Eclipse Stealth Bombers, offering additional firepower and devastating retaliation. For all these reasons, using the Aegis Idris as a patrol ship is number one. But what do you plan on using this ship for? If you have one, are you going to upgrade it to an Idris M in-game? Or did you already buy one as the Idris M? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Either way, thank you for watching this video. And if you immortals would like to join me on top Mount Olympus, I've created an org and discord. It's an incredible inclusive community with both old backers and new players alike. Links in the video description. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you're one of the 97% who watches this and isn't subscribed, please consider it. It's incredibly helpful for my channel and I would really appreciate it. But either way, thank you all so much and I can't wait to see all of you out there in the verse.